Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the MAMA Awards, the rigged popularity contest award show of the year. I just finished watching day 1 and day 2 of the award show so I'm going to be sharing my thoughts and opinions on it. Now there are going to be two separate videos, but in this video I'm going to be talking about the performances, and in the next video I'm going to be talking about the awards. Now I'm only going to be talking about the performances and awards I care about, so if I don't mention your favorite idol that's because I could care less about them. Anyways enough of the chit chat let's get into these performances. Kep won her performance was literally a bootleg knockoff version of ITZY's 2021 MAMA performance, how creatively dry do you have to be to copy a performance, performances are not meant to be recreated. Not only was this performance a cheap knockoff, but I truly hate fighting choreography, I cannot stand it, I didn't like it when ITZY did it, and I sure don't like it now, like there's so many other creative things you could come up with and you chose to give us a funky little awkward fake fight. Like please be serious, and if you're going to copy something at least try to make it different, they copied Itzy's whole concept all the way down to their outfits, the only good part of their performance was the dance break. Anyways moving on, let's talk about Somi's performance, the first half of her performance was a snooze fest, I literally skipped half of it, why have a solo singing performance if you're just going to make the backtrack loud so that nobody can hear you actually sing, like what's the point then? but her fast-forward performance was really good, like it almost made me like the song, loved how she utilized her backup dancers, and how everybody was in sync, now that I'm thinking about it, Mana Queen would have been perfect for this performance, wished she utilized them like Lucera Film did, but regardless she had the best most memorable performance of the night. Now since I watched Woman Street Fighter, I'm going to be ranking their performances. Coming in 4th place, we have Lia and Mina's duet performance, I love the fact that they are doing these little duet performances to let everybody know that they're in cool terms again, but can they please stop, they don't go well together performance wise. Like when they had their little solo parts during their performance in the beginning it was decent, but once they came together it just went downhill, and if you are going to do a duet with somebody you two need to both be completely in sync. There is nothing worse than an off-sync duo. In third place we have the trio performance, I didn't really love their performance and it started to bore me midway. In second place we have Kristen's performance, I just wanna fire the director and the lighting coordinator that was in charge of this little performance, the concept of the performance was cute but it could've been executed a lot better, and the cameraman was doing way too much. Like the cameraman was making me dizzy, I was getting motion sickness trying to watch her performance, but regardless of all that, her performance was still good. In first place we have Bada Lee and Funky Y, now this was a very unexpected pairing because they're both completely opposite, it's like water and oil, but this time they mix well together, to my surprise their performance was actually great, and unlike Lia and Mina they were actually in sync. Also Samsung got to be paying these Koreans hella money, because the way they were all promoting the hell out of these damn phones. Now I do not really keep up with boy groups, I do not know what happens on that side of K-pop. Neither do I care, but this MAMA Awards had so many boy groups performances that I was forced to watch some of them. The only one that I really liked was an hype and performance, their Bite Me performance was good. I've actually never heard Bite Me before, and although the chorus was stupid and sounded awkward I actually still ended up liking the song. Anyways, that was all the performances I cared about from day 1, so now let's talk about day 2. idol's performance was so funny to me there were so many awkward parts. The beginning of their performance made me giggle, Soyeon loves her. A good long ass feminist speech, but my thing is, why do they do these long monologues in English? Because they are performing in front of a Korean crowd. Like why are you talking in English when your audience is Korean or Japanese? I don't get that, that's like if an American artist was performing at the Grammys and started talking in Korean, like does. Nobody else find that absurd. They started walking towards the stage and Mayan randomly did a high note. Like that made no sense. And then they had their little dance break and they were not even on beat. 
After all that they finally made it to the main stage and they perform Queen Card, my thing is Queen Card has a very Y2K early 2000s type of style so why are you dressed in silver, besides their backup dancers the concept of their performance didn't even match their song. And then the remix of the song just sounded awkward, like the random repeats and echo of the twerking on the runway lyric, like what was going on. And then let's not even talk about the ending, the making the crowd repeat. After them, after they basically already finished performing the song, like this is something you do in the beginning or middle of your performance not at the end. And then they did all that just to perform the song for three more seconds. And then at the actual end of their performance, they thought that was a perfect time to do a Samsung promotion, this was the most awkward sponsor promotion I've ever seen, I got third degree embarrassment from watching this. Rei's performance was just a regular Degler M countdown, Inkageo performance, like where are their backup dancers, this performance was so creatively dry. All in all, this has to be one of the most boring MAMA award show performances, a lot of the performances were forgettable, there was little to no creativity and there was no iconic moments.